So, hello everyone, myself advocate Gautam Harshwal, working at Lexis and Company Law Firm as a junior associate. So, welcome to this the second part of this video in which we will be discussing the <coughs> we are uh, in, in previous video we have discussed the two biggest protests in the list of five biggest protests of India in India ever had or because of those protests the laws uh, the government had to repeal so, uh, laws in India. So, uh, in previous video we have discussed two parts. Uh, two protests. <coughs> in this video, we will be discussing the another uh, three protests, remaining three parts of the uh, three protests. The so the first, uh, let's come to the third protest. The first protest of this video, Agnipat scheme protest. We all know last year in 2022, it was such a big protest. You know, so many trains have been burned uh, by you know <coughs> some whether you call them students or the people. Basically, we will call them people. And there was so much agitation because of that protest. What basically changed? You know, it was basically so uh, such a big loss to the uh, economical loss as well as this uh, government also had so much loss because of that protest. You know, uh, and the railway had to face so much loss. Uh, so what basically changed before the, uh, after this law? So you know, increase. Uh, the first thing uh, which changed is you know increase in the age limit of recruitment from 21 year to 23 year. Agnipath scheme. Let me tell you if you don't know, is basically for the uh, for the recruitment in the Indian Armed Forces. <coughs> uh, so uh, the age limit, which was uh, you know 21 year, it was increased up to 23 year maximum. And reservation of 10% quota in Defence Ministry jobs (CAPF) arms, uh, you know, Assam Rifles was also provided. And the third is upper age limit is now 26 years for CAPF, BSF, and uh, CR, uh, you know, C CRPF, and the last is CISF. And the another or the last protest <coughs> or the, or the uh, fourth protest, which was Anna Andolan. We all know about Anna Andolan, which changed. It government in Delhi as well, we all know. Uh, so uh, what basically changed? In Anna Andolan, you know, uh, and we all know the politician, great politician Anna Ajaraji, they, you know, sit for a, a, hunger, on a hunger strike with their followers and because of their hunger strike, <coughs> it was so long that the government had to change the law. So what basically changed the anti-corruption movement, uh, also known as you know Anna Andolan, intended to establish strength, uh, stringent laws and their enforcement against political corruption. Later, in 2013, the Lokpal and Lokayukt Act was also enacted because of that protest. Okay, and the uh, last protest is Telangana State Movement. It was such a big moment if you have seen in the news it was for so long you know what it basically changed due to the you know uh, uh, backwardness of the region injustice in budget allocation employment opportunities and water there were violent uh, agitations which led to the separation of Telangana from Andhra Pradesh okay so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you like it I hope you understand what I explained in this video. If you have any query related, you have any legal query, let me know in the comment section. We will help you out. Or and uh, if you have any query or if you want me to make any um, video on any any further topic, I will make it. Let me know in the comment section. For now, thank you so much. I hope you like it. See you in the next video.